All right, we're going to look at how to configure the hot standby router protocol or HSRP. So I have right here a couple of routers and a switch and a PC, and they all connect up to the internet. And the only thing I have out there in the internet is the 8.8.8.8, and I want to be able to get to it. Now, normally, you want to have some kind of failover so when things go down, you have a, a separate way to get through it. And that works great when you have multiple routers because you can have different routes and routing protocols can take care of routing things and making things work. And with span entry, you can have other interfaces come up and go active when there are problems. However, what do you do when you don't have two different gateways? So I'm going to configure both of these routers one, router one and router two. Um, first of all, with a, an IP address. So in router one, I'm going to comp T. And I'm going to do, they both have gigabit ethernet 0, 2 going to the switch. So I'm going to do int g0 slash 2. And I'm going to configure it as IP 10, 10, dot 0, dot 0, dot 2, 255.255.255.0. .255 .255 .255 .255 .255 and the other one will be the dot 3. No shut. So that's good. And the other side, I will configure as the dot three. And G0 slash two. IP address 192.0.10.0.0.3.255.255.255.0. And then no shut down. All right, so both of them should be live now. So there are now two different gateways that the computer can use. So let's go ahead and verify to make sure that works. So if I bring the computer up, so click on my computer, and I bring it up, and I can see it has, well, configuration. So I go in the configuration, and as default gateway, I set to 10.0.0.2. We're not going to worry about DHCP server, or DNS server, we're just going to go straight into configuring a static IP address, which is going to be 10.0.0.10, with a mask of 255.255.255.0. All right. Now, with this in place, I go to the desktop, and I want to test to make sure I can ping out. Ping 8.8.8.8. And so you can see you can ping all the way out. If I do a trace route, I can see how it gets there, and this is kind of slow. Trace RT 8.8.8.8, and you can see it goes out, and um, the machine it goes through is my default gateway, which is 10.0.0.2. Well, if that line goes down, I'm not going to automatically switch to the 10.0.0.3. So what do I do? Well, these two machines can both decide to share an IP address. So what I'm going to do is have them both configured to share the dot one address. So I'm currently in the uh, gigabit ethernet right here, and I'm going to do standby version two, because you want to use the HSRP version two, because that's better. I'm um, getting more options. And then I want to tell it which group it's going to be part of. So do standby. I'm going to do group 1, and the I address uh, IP is going to be my IP address, which is 10.0.0.1. Okay, so it comes up, and that's great. We're good. Uh, I go to the other side, and I want to configure it as well. So I will go into conf t int g0 slash 2 slash 2 and in here I will do standby version 2 make sure the same version they have to be the same version and standby I have to make sure it's the same group number 1 and the IP address is the same 10.0.0.1 alright so now they should both be up and ready to go. If I speed through this and I pull up the PC again, 
I can try doing another trace route. And it kind of goes through. So that's good. Well, what if I want to decide which one is going to be the, well, the one's up. Uh, I can decide how to make one of them become the the main one. Currently, uh, it is this one here, R1, is the one that's being used to get out to the internet. And if I speed up ahead, speed up again, it'll stay that one because there is no preempting, there's no priority issues, because it's already up. Now, normally what happens is both IP addresses are um, looked at, and it chooses the one with the highest IP address, and that one becomes the active one. But that's not currently the case right now because, because we have this time issue, and which one came up first. So if I want to force to make sure this dot two always is the one that comes up first, I can go in here and <clears throat> I can change its status a little bit. So I do stand by priority two five five, and that makes it a higher priority. And then I, oops, stand by one priority two five five, stand by one preempt and that will now make it force it to do a re-election and become the leader of course it was already the leader right now uh, even though it shouldn't have been so now let's go ahead and try it again this time we're going to change which one is the leader but i'm going to test this first and uh, if i go through and do a trace route you can see it goes through the dot two and now if I want to shrink that down and go to this thing, I can change the priority to something less than 100. Because by default, this the priority is 100. So if I make this 99, and then I go over the other side, you can see that this is when it's currently in the standby state. I can change it. So I'll do um, standby 1, priority let's make this 255 and then I'll do stand by one preempt and suddenly it changes from standby to active if I go back over to the other machine the laptop or the computer and I try doing a trace route you can see it still does this right here 10.002 However, it's going to be switching pretty soon. Speed up a bit, make time pass. This one is now switched to standby. And then I go to my computer and run it again, and it's still going to the dot two. Let's see. Oh, wait, I know why it's going to the dark, too. I haven't changed the... Uh... So you have to actually go to the computer and configure it. <laughs> its default gateway is the dot one. All right. Now, if I go to the computer again, and I go to the desktop and do a trace route again, it's using the dot three. So we can tell that because it goes to the dot one, and then when you do trace route, it responds and it tells us the dot three. Now, if I go back over here and change the preemption again, so and it says priority down to ten, then I can go to the other side, and I can see that it has moved from standby to active. Then I move over to my computer again and I do a trace route. And I can see now it's using the dot two. So you do have to set the computer to point to the default gateway. And that default gateway has to be the shared IP address. And then it will use that one. If I want to look at this to figure out which one is the current active one, you can always watch the logs as they go by, but sometimes they aren't, aren't there for very long. You can always do the show standby command 
and that will give you some information. I can see this one is currently the active one, not the standby one. You can see what the virtual IP address is, and you can also see the virtual MAC address that is being used. You can also see which one the standby router is, and that is the dot three. So that is how you can configure HSRP. So enjoy.